video i want to give you a clarity in terms of these four different words so that you can have a clarity when you prepare your financial statement is either a balance sheet or income statement okay so let's start with our explanation the first one we're going to start with accrued income what is the meaning of accrued income basically this is the income that someone is owing to us someone okay someone owe us as a company okay then when we talk about a prepaid expense which means that we paid this expense for the following year we paid we paid in advance in other words okay then when we come to income received in advance we are the one who receive income in advance which means that that person uh, is, expect, is expecting us to do some work uh, on the following period okay we receive income in advance okay and the last one accrued expense okay when we talk about ex accrued expense we owe someone okay now we are going to simplify it in terms of a note and a balance it okay we have account that we call it trade and other receivable this account guys is an asset okay then we also have trade and other payables so this is liability account okay now let's classify them so that it can be very simple for us to understand okay let's talk about an asset when we talk about assets we control that item or we own that item liability we are owing to someone okay let's start with accrued income accrued income we say that someone owe us which means that we have the right to demand our money to that person which means that we don't owe anyone but someone owe us which means that it's gonna be asset accrued accrued income someone owe us our money our income okay number two prepaid expense expense that we paid in advance guys is like we pay rent for next year we have in stay which means that if we want to go our our the landlord or our landlord can give us our money back because we have in stay for next year which means that we control that money it's an asset we control we have a control about that money because we can go and take it because we have in stay because next year has in yet arrive prepaid expense okay it's an asset under this note okay now let's talk, talk about this other two income that we receive in advance it's like maybe for example we have a business to rent our tenant has paid the rent for next year that person can come and take that money which means that we don't have control yet about that money for next year income that we receive in advance which means that that person can come back which means that we have liability to allow that person to stay next year which means that it's liability income received in advance okay then accrued expense is clear accrued we owe someone we are owing someone is a liability we so we owe someone expense for example if we are talking now it's december we even pay rent for december but we already stay december we owe that person that rent of december which means that it's a liability accrued expense
okay accrued expense so this is how you should classify uh, this item so when it come to a balance sheet you just record them as it is as, uh, if it's given but when it come to income statement guys when it come to income statement income statement principle say that we have to record for 12 months okay which means that when we talk about accrued income accrued income and accrued expense these two amount the principal said must be added why must be added remember income statement principal said we have to record for 12 months and if we record from january until november and we haven't paid rent for december we recorded 11 it must be 12 we have to add even though it, it has not yet paid it must be added okay then income that has been paid for next year and expense that has been paid for next year it must be subtracted these two prepaid expense and income received in advance because it's for next year it's like now we recorded 13 instead of 12 which means that we have to go and subtract so that we can left with 12 the others must be subtracted so this is how you should treat this very simple account so i hope you learned something uh, please appreciate us by subscribing to this channel so that it can grow like other grow channel thank you so much guys i hope you enjoyed this video